Hey people, it's Devin from Kamikazes, and today I'll be giving you my review and some top 5 moments of episode 6 of Constantine, The Rage of Caliban. So let's begin. video off with my review and my thoughts on the episode and then I'm gonna be doing my top five moments so let's begin so this episode I really liked a lot and I found it very interesting so I gave it an A minus I really like this episode because it gave me a different vibe on like it was just a different vibe for this episode not that I didn't love the episodes before I did it's just this one was different to me and it had my interest from the very beginning to then um, this episode mainly focuses on a spirit that goes around possessing little children and having them act out violently and then eventually killing their parents, which is just creepy. Through the episode, we learn a little history on the spirit and from its first victim, Marcelo, how it possessed him and had him kill his family while they were sleeping with an axe, which is just very outrageous and gruesome and intense. But... It was, even in the opening scene, we were shown this little girl's family, her parents getting flung around through the room. Her dad was on the roof, like pinned as if he was on the cross and just ended up dying because this little girl was possessed by that spirit. Um, just, it was, it was really creepy. But also in the episode, we start to see, you know, the internal struggle that Constantine is having that he doesn't believe in himself, you know, and say, when it comes to saving children, like, ever since the whole Newcastle Astra incident, it's really been affecting his, like, his thought process and, have, you know, his belief in himself. He's been second-guessing himself, and it doesn't help that now these spirits and demons and stuff that he's usually fought before and beat no problem are coming back hungrier, stronger, and just different. And it's, it's not helping, but... He has to, you know, learn to believe in himself and become the Constantine that we know that's going to do anything and, you know, outwit anything to save the day and beat the demons and spirits and send them back to hell where they belong. But I guess this is going to be a reoccurring thing till he finally gets over the whole Astra thing or saves her. But I wonder how long that's going to be considering, you know, we're already in episode seven and the darkness is coming and it's just, it's not helping. It's not looking good for Team Constantine. Especially with that gloomy message of somebody's going to betray him for the coming darkness. We still don't know who. Everyone thinks it's Zed. I hope not because that's my bae. But, um, yeah, so now here comes the moment. <laughs> Spoiler warnings for the people who haven't seen the episode yet. I'm going to give you a moment to skip ahead into the video to where you see my face again. And that'll be your okay to watch the video from there so you haven't ruined anything for yourself, alright? So here's your moment. Alright. And now for the top five moments of episode six of Constantine the Raging Caliban. Moment number five. Manny wants Constantine to prepare for the upcoming darkness. Moment number four. Manny tells Constantine that the things he's used to fighting have gotten stronger, faster, and hungrier. Moment number three, Constantine doesn't believe in himself anymore. Moment number two, Constantine realizes who the spirit is. It's Marcelo. Moment number one, Constantine exercises the spirit out of Henry and saves the day. Well, there goes my review of Constantine episode six, The Rage and Caliban. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Also, make sure to check out our YouTube page if you're new to the YouTube channel where you could find our various social media sites like our Facebook fan page and our Twitter page where you can interact with us, give us any ideas for a topic video you want to see, or just have conversations with us. That's what we're here for, and be a part of the Kamikaze movement and help us get us going, alright? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.